Okay, so this is Billy Bo Peep. He's a really good fox main, so we'll see what his uh, issues are today. <laughs> Alright, so how do you want to get started? Um, well, I guess... I forgot this is our, our first lesson. Okay, so I guess let's just, um... I think it would be best. You already know a good amount about my play, so it's like, we really need to talk about that, so I might as well just send you the VODs and then you okay. immediately go into that, I think. All right, I think we don't good. need very much background. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows who you are, so. <laughs> and I, I, we've played a lot, so. Yeah, I'll send you these three games. Uh, um, I think one of them's FD, so probably just try not to pick the FD game. <laughs> okay. Is it Fox did us? Uh, it's me against Avery, actually. It's oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I guess I should have said the matchup beforehand. <laughs> That's way more interesting. I was like, there's no way he wants a Fox Ditto lesson. Yeah, no, like, I... After, after everything else. I, I've... Put way too much time in the Fox Eater to care about it right now. I'm on the I hate that matchup train. Oh yeah, moment. definitely. Alright, here I'll screen share for you. Cool. Okay, so what do you what are your thoughts currently on this matchup or just versus Avery or like this um... sort of thing in general? Like how do you feel in the matchup and like what are you trying to look to maybe improve? Uh, let's see. I think I am generally decent at the matchup. I think I at least have a structured game plan that I generally will stick to. So I think that's always a plus. Um, I think right now the things that I would I would say I do well are I think I have a pretty decent baseline um, game plan for lasers. I think I generally execute it well. And then like um, I think I I think I have. Hmm. I think I'd say that I have a decent idea of, like, how to interact with Falco aggressively, right? I think I, instead of, like, doing, like, I don't know, I just, like, run across the stage or something, try to there. I think I have a decent idea of ways to actually be aggressive meaningfully, like, say, playing a mix-up with Running Shine around, like, Falco lasering or something. Like, I think I will have structured ways of dealing with uh, situations like those. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, oh, how else do I feel about the matchup? I think, I mean, yeah, I think. Like, what do you think you're effect. struggling with, or like, why, I think do, you, right why now, do you lose? If, if I think I have, um, I think though me, a, I think I can be defensive in the matchup well, and I think I have a good game plan for that. But being aggressive, I generally have like very uh, linear. I think linear is the word. Linear or like telegraphed ways of being aggressive. I think mm -hmm. even though I have a structured game plan that I follow. I do think I don't have very many layers on top of it, so it's pretty easy. And I think you'll see Avery just like probably shit on me for that. I'm not sure. And then um, <laughs> okay. And then like, I think obviously my execution is pretty bad, and I think I'm really bad at the positions where you thought, frame you, you said advantage. Your wall was pretty bad. My execution is pretty oh, bad. Oh, yeah, execution. I think. Okay. Yeah, and then I think in the positions where it's ambiguous if I have frame advantage or not. I'll generally, instead of trying to push against Falco, which I think is good if it's ambiguous because his defense is, it's hard for him to, he can't like outspeed Fox, right? So it's like mm -hmm. Fox can generally get there faster. And then I think even when I do have frame advantage, sometimes I like give it up, which I think is very, very bad. Because I think taking advantage of that and being able to close the space between Falco and Fox is really important. Mm -hmm. Um... I think those are my general thoughts right now. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't have that no, much. I think that's yeah. I think that's pretty good. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna watch for a sec. Um. Hmm. That's a weird situation. So like, what were you? So you're. Let's see. So you're right here. You go up to the platform. Okay. You come down in center. He has the laser out. You shield it. Okay, you wave dash in on the second frame, but nice. <laughs> but you wave, <laughs> wave dash in, and then he's right here. And I guess you think he's gonna probably laser gonna, in like place. laser in place. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Hmm, okay. I'll I'll store that and we'll talk about it in a second. So then okay. you go for this. You run back in. Um. So, okay, it seems so far, so this is my current impression after after yeah. watching this, is that 
it seems like you're going for reads on what Falco does of like, well, if he lasers in place, this will hit him. And if he does an approaching aerial, this will beat that. But you're not seeing, at least so far, Yeah, it's like it doesn't look like you're choosing those things based on what the situation looks like for Falco. It looks like you're choosing them based on just sort of maybe like him doing it. Mm-hmm. What do you think would be like actual pointers to if like yeah, what yeah. Falco would be doing in those positions, right? Well, so a lot of it is like if you if you think of it from Falco's perspective, Falco is trying to get Fox to dash in in a way that is predictable. That's like, okay, so Falco has a few ways to deal with Fox. One of them is he wants Fox to dash in in a way that it's predictable, in which case he does um, the aerial. Like, like he'll do, like, a moving mm-hmm. forward aerial. So you run in, and then he does, like, a fade back dare or something, and he hits you. So he wants to get you to run in, or he wants to get you to wait for a second and wait for him to come in, like, with an up tilt or something. Yeah. And he'll solve that with wait with a laser in place and then if you dash away he wants to solve that with approaching laser yeah yeah. and then if you full hop then he's gonna look for like an up tilt or something so what what you have to do is you can't it's like super important to not let falco control the pace or like Mm -hmm. be i call it like activity where, like, you don't want Falco to be the one dictating which situations that you get into. And so, because if he does that, you don't know what he's setting up for. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, like, he could just do sort of a random read and catch you for anything you do. So, what you want to do is... Or, what? sorry, like, what you want to do more is you want to be the one dictating the situation to Falco by, do, by like very clearly threatening certain options where if he doesn't cover those options he has a chance of getting hit Uh uh-huh so that makes sense so for instance like right here so he does this laser and you shield it and Mm -hmm. then this wave dash in doesn't have like a point to it like if he just aerialed right here you would just die like you didn't you didn't imply anything to him before doing this wave dash in and i think that's like a big flaw where like Mm. so there's a thing that ppmd says when he's talking about falco but it's true for all the characters where like you have to be really aware of how all of your actions affect your opponent Mm -hmm. and so It's like your actions aren't just for you to protect yourself. Your actions are also to force your opponent to have to move to protect themselves. And so Falco is a lot like Peach, where because they're so much slower than Fox, they can't protect themselves by moving. Falco has a little bit of an exception because he can go super vertical, but like that doesn't threaten you at all, so you can kind of ignore it. Mm -hmm. And it's more about the fact that like if you threaten an approach... Or if you threaten anything, Falco has to respond to that with some sort of action, like some sort of move. And if he doesn't, he's just gonna gonna basically get hit. His only yeah. alternative is to like shield and then roll, because his roll is pretty good. But that also like doesn't threaten you at all. Like that's just yeah, pretty that good for you. <laughs> it so it's rolls. like you wave dash in without any sort of implication. And so this right here, this is just like a random situation, basically, because mm-hmm. you didn't imply anything. And then like a lot of Falcos would have just dared here, probably. And you would have just yeah. gotten hit. So it's like, you basically took a situation that, like, it's like, not a 50-50, you know what I'm basically saying. You take, like, a mix-up situation, but it doesn't yeah. need to be, like, a pure mix-up. Like, it should it should it, have it should weight be some behind it, where, like, <laughs> yeah. you have already, like, it's like, it's like if you're playing rock, paper, scissors or something, and you say, I'm gonna go rock next round. Like, yeah. Maybe in that case, it's, like, a little bit different, but it's similar to that, where, like, you have to, like, declare your option before you play the mix-up, against, mm-hmm. especially against Falco, because he can cover everything if he chooses the right option. Whereas, like, I think against a lot of other characters, if they choose the right option, 
they still might not hit you because you'll do a slightly weird drift or something like that. But like if yeah. Falco guesses even kind of right, then he gets you. So he does this laser. So this is to prevent you from you from dashing in. So he knows that you're either going to be shielding or like stuck here for a few frames unless you hit the power yeah. shield. So he gets this, and then he does like this. And so you're thinking that he's going to laser in. Mm-hmm. But... Or sorry, you're thinking he's going to aerial in, which is why you dash back out of the laser. But this is basically winning him the situation in, like, basically this is just straight up bad because you're not keeping your goals in mind of, like, Mm -hmm. so think, let's think about the possible options here. Like, basically, Falco's options are he does a full super drift in approaching Dare or a Nair, like a scrub, and you just grab him for it, and that feels Mm -hmm. great. Or he does literally anything else, and you've given up stage position. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like it's like it like if he was over here and he didn't approach here and he just did like a half laser like in place almost right here, you would just be more in the corner, and then he can do a slight approach laser, and you don't have any way to actually punish it. And so mm-hmm. you're like, this is the situation where you really want to full hop, like yeah. when you're confused here because it's like, okay, so this happens. Then you're here, he lasers you, like right here, if you full hop, none of his options gain a meaningful advantage over you. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if you dash back, you just get messed up. So so because you dash back and he doesn't do the one option you were hoping to beat, he gets this on you. And when you're in this situation, you're just, you're basically heavily disadvantaged in neutral no matter what you do. Because he was super positive on frames and he gets a ton of mix-ups on you. So like when you're in this situation, this, I try not to worry too much about this because it's like this means you you already basically lost. You already and messed you, up. So yeah, like and like in this right, situation, really. like just literally, just you know, go for a shine or go for a random full hop or shield and go for a roll. Like you're already you're already doomed here. So yeah. It's so like fun. so you you happen to just get this out and it works, but like you had already lost the situation, so it feels like it's still neutral, but you you lost right there. So then mm-hmm. you run in. The thing is, is like, look how there's literally zero baiting going on here. You wave dash in and just run in. Like, yeah. you're implying, here I come, I'm going to run in. And then you actually do just run in. Mm-hmm. And you do the same thing again the second time. Where, like, there's no actual bait here. You thought you made it look like you were going to run in, and then you ran in. And, like, the the one thing you can almost guarantee that Falco will always be covering is the option you declared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, let's see. So this time he actually does do the aerial, and you get the dash back. Um, this is pretty okay, because even if he gets the approaching laser, you're still close to center. Like, you'd be basically in this same situation again, where, yeah. like, if, he, if, he, if you run away here and he does an approaching laser, and then he tries to approach you with, an, a, laser, with a laser or an aerial again, you can full hop then there. Yeah. So, so yeah. this is good because, yeah, so you get the grab out of it because it covers, like, that's the whole thing is you want to mitigate the risk of his different mix-ups and then try to trick him by declaring a mix-up, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay, you get your punish. That was really good, obviously. You have super solid punish against Falco. Um, mm-hmm. This is a, this is kind of a weird situation where so if Falco side B's from this exact high, uh, distance, the back yeah. air will never hit. The only reason why this hit is because he got stuck on the edge here. Yeah, he got stuck on the yeah. So but, like <laughs> this this would basically just beat uh, being here from the ledge like every time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm not actually sure what Fox is supposed to do there, but just be aware that if he if he recovers and he's double jumping back and he's at this distance, this will never ever work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless he sure. literally gets stuck he gets on the stuck. edge. There. <laughs> yeah, so Okay, so then what does this full hop you do? Okay, so you're implying you're gonna run in, and then you mix up with the full hop here. So it's, mm-hmm. if this is this is pretty good because at least you didn't do the thing you just declared you're gonna do. Because yeah. then if he does like a dare or something here, or if he happens to, then it's bad for him. And then if he plays neutral, you're still in like a stalemate. 
Mm -hmm. So that's good. Let's see what happens. So he does a good, a really good run, run under you. And so you guys are pretty much um, even again. Okay, so you do this, and then this, this is really. <laughs> I think this nair is really bad. Yeah, I agree. It's just never. It's just bad. It's, it's just, just like objectively like, bad. It only works if he's right here and he does like a like a. Slow he does like a laser. stupid jump. Because even weird. here, he yeah. does this laser, and he still has plenty <laughs> of time to like cover you. Yeah. So far, like, you have not really done any sort of manipulation of what Falco thinks is going to happen. Like, um, mm -hmm. I don't know how much... Uh, well, I mean, I guess you've played a bunch of Sheik. And, like, yeah. it's super scary when the fox is like, here I come! And then just, like, sits there and, like, shoots a couple lasers or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like... Or he's like, I'm gonna camp you, and then you wave dash in once, and then he just like tears you apart, like runs. Yeah, in he just and like you. demolishes you. And yeah. so it's like, but if the fox is like, I'm gonna laser camp you, you know, that's not that bad. And he starts laser camping. <laughs> and then when the fox is like, here I come, and then he actually comes in, that's not that bad either. Yeah. So it's like, like what, like what was that? Like what, like what was yeah, this full no, Like what does this do at all? Like it doesn't imply anything. It doesn't mean anything. You just die for it, or po potentially die for it. Yeah. So, okay. So no, I think I don't understand how to uh, do that specifically with Falco because I think what happens with me is I get very conf like the the fact that lasers exist confused me when I think how am I supposed to like threaten the idea of me doing something when like I could just like potentially randomly get lasered while I'm trying to do that thing, I think. And that's where, like, my confusion starts. Because I think what happens is, like, say if I'm like, oh, I'm going to try and maybe, like, just for example, maybe I'm going to try and look like I'm going to approach or something, and it's just, like, I just get lasered when I'm in that range, and I'm like, well, I guess, I feel like at that point, it kind of resets the situation more than anything. Mm -hmm. So I, that's that's where my confusion comes from. So and why I think I don't do it at all. Yeah, so... Um, hmm. Okay, so the thing with Falco Laser is Falco Laser resets a lot of situations once it comes out, mm -hmm. but you get to choose where you get reset, and honestly, if you get reset, because you can full hop over them. Yeah. And so it's like, you can... So, it's like, let's say you space yourself such that Falco lasers you, and he's in a spot where you he can't immediately reach you with, like, an aerial. Mm -hmm. Then, you, like, by choosing that spot, you're saying to Falco that basically, hey, you don't know what I'm going to do next in terms of, like, am I going to full hop to a platform or yeah. am I going to try to close the space? Because, like, if if you're, like, if you're at the distance where you're going to try to close the space and Falco doesn't laser, you get that space for free. Mm -hmm. But if you force Falco to laser then like hmm, okay so probably actually a better way to describe it would be like you have to remember that like laser isn't a passive for falco it's really easy to feel like as fox to get very absorbed in the fox perspective of it that yeah. like he just always kind of has lasers coming out and so you feel like you can't really move because you're just getting lasered over and over but mm -hmm. like Every single laser from Falco is a commitment in a yeah. lot of different ways. It's yeah. kind of like, um, it's kind of like Fox full hop, where people are like, every time I get near Fox, he just full hops. But mm -hmm. like, in like, it's not like you just passively are in full hop. Like you have yeah. to choose to full hop, and it like actively like limits your options. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you're if you get close enough to Falco where you can punish his laser in place, then, like, he has to make a decision whether you're going to actually try to press in on him or not. And if you do, and 
So it's basically like a situation where you can. So it's kind of okay. So think so from the Falco perspective, Falco can like get lasers, and it's kind of the situation where you're like, well, if I go for a mix up, and then Falco just does another laser, it like he gets to safely avoid my mix up and then potentially punish me. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing from the Fox end with Falco, where like if he gets scared and does an aerial and then you weren't approaching him, you get a punish. And if Mm -hmm. he tries to keep you out with a laser, and it basically lets you choose the positioning for his next potential Uh mix-up. I'm not sure if that's explained perfectly. but I think it makes sense. (laughs) So it's basically Uh like, um, you, like... It's part of it is like a mental thing where you can't see Falco as having control of the situation. You have to see his lasers are specifically meant to prevent you from like literally destroying him. Yeah. Like like it's like those lasers don't actually control you as much as they you feel like they do mm-hmm. because It's kind of like when, you know, somebody's trying to approach Peach and they're like, every time I throw out a move, Peach just, like, float cancel nares me. And it's like, those nares aren't just passively there. They're not just out all the time to, like, pressure you. Like, those nares are only there to protect her from the things uh, you are, like, implying. Mm -hmm. So, let me just see if I can find, like, a situation where it's, like, a good example in the actual game. Okay. And that might help. Okay, this is all just you being an at advantage. Okay, so right here, he gets this laser. And, okay, so you power shield it. Um, and you wave dash back out of it. Okay, so this is fine. So basically, so look, why, like, why does he do this nair? He does this nair because he has to prevent you from short hopping at him somehow. Yeah. Like, yeah. he has to prevent this. So it's like, you... You're you're controlling Falco here rather mm-hmm. than him controlling you. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And so yeah. it's like he gets to protect himself with the laser, but you get to pr- you get to choose where you get lasered, which dictates the way he has to protect himself with the next laser. And so mm-hmm. you can use that to basically bait him out. Yeah. By him thinking that he has to protect himself from things that he doesn't. So it's like, why is he up till here? It's because he's yeah, trying he's to like protect himself. <laughs> he doesn't have any movement options that'll actually prevent him from getting hit by you attacking yeah. him in the corner. And it's like, so why doesn't he just laser here? And it's like, because you could have just come in. Like, laser actually takes a long time to come out. Yeah, laser's super slow. But it's not reactable. Like, you can't just see him short hop. Like, you can't see the laser start up and know that he's going to laser. But yeah. in order for laser to come out, he's vulnerable for a lot of frames. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, so he has to go for this. He doesn't have to go for it. But like, so this was a situation where it was really clear where like, it's like, so it's like, if Falco can, can totally control you with his lasers, you know, why is Ginger not just immediately coming up and lasering? And it's because yeah. you have the ability to manipulate him by... So in this case, you don't actually pretend you're going to come into the corner, but... Mm-hmm. Because he's in the corner, it's almost like an implicit it's, threat yeah, of like, that you're probably going to do it. So, like, this this isn't even, like, you're doing. This is actually an advantage that comes out of other foxes nearing him into the corner. <laughs> and him him learning that he has to protect himself in this situation. Yeah. yeah so you yeah. get the advantage because of other foxes, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good punish there. Yeah, But yeah, that, that, that stuff all makes sense. Having a situation laid it out a lot simpler. <laughs> so it's like, it's just, it's really important to see from, it's like, I, I think the comparison to Peach is really, really apt because people who, people yeah. literally will play Fox and be like, I can't hit Peach. And I used to feel <laughs> that exact same way. Because it's like, every time I nair in, she just nares me. And it's like, 
have you played Pete's? Like, from the Pete's perspective, you're like, here comes Nair, here comes Nair, here comes comes Nair. Nair. Like, you're just, like, (laughs) hoping. And then the fox is like, JK, and then he just hits you, you know? And it's like... Yeah, yeah, he waits one second and you get fucked. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So it's like, who has the control there? Is it the Peach who's steadily encroaching on the fox and every time you push out against her, she nares you? Or is it... You know, the fox who could come in at any time at all. Any timing, whenever. Literally yeah, any yeah. time, except for the time she's nearing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think I don't think about the other character's perspective very often. Yeah, I think, I, I think that's, like, really important, actually. Yeah, no, I Because so far, you have done basically nothing to bait him. It's mm-hmm. basically all been just you moving into fairly solid positions or going for blind mix-ups yeah and the times you've won in the solid positions that's because that position implies something and you didn't actually have to imply it yourself mm-hmm. okay mr ledge dash it happens okay so once again like why are you wave dashing in here there was no like, okay, so he, from his perspective, so you just shielded this mm-hmm. this laser. So what I'm trying uh, to do is sort of explain, like, you need that that consciousness of, like, what you're doing to the other player in neutral. Mm-hmm. Because, like, in a way, you are, you're always attacking the opponent's character, even if you're yeah. not hitting them. You're, like, attacking them with your positioning. Mm-hmm. Because the positioning puts pressure on them, which leads to the hits. So, like, and so we have this situation here. So you shield this in the corner. It doesn't hit you, but you shield yeah. it because you know the laser was just happened to be too uh, high. I, so, I have a question about the. Do you think power shielding would have changed the dynamic of the situation at all? Because I feel like there's the position earlier where I also did the shield wave dash in, and both times it looked like I was at least trying to power shield, and I feel like that would have changed like. The dynamic of me doing the wave dash uh, towards them, right? Um. So, if you get the power shield, um, it's basically it gives you a sort of potentially good mix-up, but mm-hmm. if you miss the power shield you basically die and yeah. if you hit the power shield you might it's still just a mix-up yeah yeah yeah. because like let's say he shoots this laser and then crouches and then he cc's the power shield laser when you wave dash in out of this he's still positive on yeah it. it's like the same yeah, like yeah. it's like he's there's no like you're not like this like when if i look at the situation from the falco perspective the risk reward is like amazing for falco on you shielding <laughs> wave dashing this in it's like oh i just laser and then like if he if he reflects the if you reflect this laser i can just dash back out of it before you can get me yeah and then if i crouch it i just literally kill you and <laughs> then if you miss the power shield and now you're here i'm in a great situation and so it's like that doesn't sound like something you would want to set up as the fox. It sounds like a situation you would want to set up as the Falco. As yeah, okay. So, sure. a so a a big problem with shielding in this particular like a big thing. The big thing is like if you were in center and this happened, this would be fine. Mm-hmm. Because you know you have the potential power shield, which doesn't necessarily give you an opening, but at least it gets the laser onto him. To, yeah because you you know you assume he's not going to do a low laser because if he does a low laser he'll just jump over it and kill you anyway <laughs> like he can yeah. literally just laser and then sh- and then jump over then just and like then it'll power shield laser, and then yeah. downer you and you're like oh okay i'm stuck in a shield and he's downering the back of my shield you know so, yeah but the problem with this situation out of your shield here is that so your options are basically wave dash out this way wave dash out this way or full hop Mm-hmm. or like a roll but those are usually not as good y- yeah i wouldn't roll yeah so think. but the problem is is that you if you wave dash this way you're all the way in the corner i'm in the corner and yeah. so if you full hop here that's probably a good option for you but mm-hmm. 
he doesn't really have to worry about that because your your full hop there is like your full escape. It's like, okay, fine, we'll reset Falco. Like, you know, yeah. you're not trying to get anything out of it. And so he has basically the ability to pressure here where like either you're going to continue shielding or you're going to wave dash into him. And so you basically limit your own options a lot. And so what he yeah. does is he does this down air, which catches you if you continue shielding. Mm -hmm. And catches you wave dashing in. Yeah. So it basically sense. covers all of the options that you can do that can put you in a better position than you're currently in. So this literally covers both of these. Yeah. And like you see that he can land right there. So he just like sees this and he's like, oh, okay, free option Easy. coverage. Yeah. Like, because if, if, if you stayed shielding right here, this dare would just hit your shield. Yeah, and like, oh, now I'm getting pressured. <laughs> yeah, so he gets that. And then, so that's just like. Another thing to, like, watch out for of, like, when Falco's does that laser and you're kind of right here, that's really, mm -hmm. like, a full hop. Yeah, that's just, like, escape. That's Yeah, like, the only like thing back you end don't really do. want to try to shield it and then push back in or whatever because it puts him in his perfect situation. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, I'm, nothing's really happening here. That was fine. Like, you just whiff punished him. Yeah. Okay. Nothing's really happening. Okay, so now we're kind of back at neutral. Uh, wait, what? How did you end up in the corner? Well, because you're in the corner. Wait, <laughs> yeah, no, I just wave dashed away, I think. You roll out of the corner. Me he hits you. Oh, you shield? Okay, th this is acceptable. He does, like, yeah. a hard read on you going away with this. So he actually risked himself quite a bit here. But mm -hmm. So this isn't great by him, but it was, like, acceptable. So you end up here. That's okay. And so it's yeah. like, what are you going to do here? And it's like, the answer here is full hop right Probably now. full hop. It's, all, it's almost always full hop at this range. It's, it's always it's, full hop. Because it, it's not... Because, like, the problem is, is that, like, your only options are go into Falco, corner yourself, or platform. And it's like, platform. <laughs> like, the platform Yeah, there, just like, go to the platform. The platform yeah. there saves you. And there's you a... You never get hit for going to the There's platform. a dynamic in this matchup where Falco goes to the platform... And Fox can't really pressure him. Mm -hmm. But it's really important for when Falco decides to come down from the platform is you don't give him what he wants. So this hasn't really come up yet, but I'm just going to kind of yeah, go yeah. into it. Yeah. Because, so the idea is that basically when Falco's on the platform, you can't pressure him. Mm. When he'll, He will eventually decide to come down with a laser. And what a lot of foxes will do is the Falco's like, we're not fighting. And the fox is like, come on, come down and fight me. Like, I'm in center. And he's like, no, we're not fighting. And fox is like, come on, come down. And then he comes down with a laser. And then fox is like, finally, he's here. I can fight. But that gives Falco control because he gets to choose when you fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you actually want to do is whenever Falco gets to force a situation where he's like, we're fighting now. And you're like, oh, no, I have to do what he says. Like, I have to fight him. That's when you use the platform. Yeah, that's when I get okay. And then, yeah. and then, so then he, because he doesn't really have a lot of ways to pressure you here, then he will be on the ground, and you'll kind of, and he'll kind of be like, <laughs> "Come on, come down and fight me! Come on, come down and fight!" And then when mm -hmm. you come down off the platform, it's also important for the Falco to not immediately just take whatever you give him off the platform. Because yeah. a lot of times Fox will like, let's say Falco's here and you're here, and then you short hop off the platform and go for like a fade back mix up or something. Mm -hmm. If Falco is like, you know what, like he's gonna jump into me and he up tilts here, he's opening himself up for all kinds of like options. Like he basically gave yeah. you the control. So in that situation, Falco should just disengage to the platform. Yeah. And so I, it, okay. you kind of end up in this situation with like looping disengagements, but like. Mm -hmm. Because those don't actually give either player an advantage, a lot of times, in basically, unless you're playing West Balls, where, like, he's down to just <laughs> do a losing strategy of platform camping forever, like, you're going to end up in a zone where one of the players, you go to the platform, and then Falco goes to center... And then you'll be like, come on, Falco, let's fight. And you'll kind of move in a way. And then Falco will be like, you know, actually, that does look like a situation that I want to fight in. And so you kind of come to, like, a mutual agreement of, like, okay, we'll do a mix-up here, you know, with the handshake and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. You kind of both decide, like, okay, like, we could have both disengaged from this, but I'm thinking I can win this one, and he's thinking he can win this one. And that's why the matchup ends up so even a lot of times, is because they can both... <laughs> 
they can both kind of choose not to engage with each other and they can they only engage when they both agree that this is like a good time to engage unless one of them gets the other one into one of those situations where you were in where you're kind of stuck and you're deciding oh where do i want to go yeah because then he's basically saying hey look I'm down to play this situation. If you're down to play this situation, be my guest. Like, I'll body you. But if you don't <laughs> want to play the situation, you're free to go to the platform and we'll reset. That's basically what he was telling you in that past situation. And you took the engagement in a situation that he wanted. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, here's a situation. You power shield and he gets to jump over. So, he lasers you right here. This is obviously super bad for you because he had such a big advantage but he does this yeah. weird walk up again to get the shine mm -hmm. i mean i guess it's not that weird of a walk up but uh yeah i probably just thought he would be closer because yeah. he could have gone laser shine trick combo right yeah so he gets this pressure he does this you spot dodge so it's like right here he's able to get this laser out because of your spot dodge yeah so he's not threatened here because you spot dodge he sees it he's pretty sure he has time to get this laser out but like look how long it takes to actually come out you know like yeah it's like, like dude, <laughs> look at this like when he jumps like here's like I'll, I'll slow it down he makes this decision to laser right here so this is jumping yeah so he's got like one he had his jump squat first so he had five yeah, so he had five this. So this is six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one it, and that's the laser and, comes out <laughs> and that's when the laser's out and it's like that whole time frame. <laughs> potentially he could like yeah and then there's these all these frames so that whole time period you're free to do anything you want yeah and it's like you could have you could go you could go right here and power shield the laser and he's scared you can like push in and like something cody will do is like when i'm right here he'll just kind of full hop right here to this platform and then mm -hmm. i'm kind of in a situation where i'm like oh i kind of have to defend against all these fox dropping off options and then cody will yeah. kind of do like short hop off the platform here and kind of like drift back in drift and like in, make my like life trend. really frustrating so mm -hmm. And that's a situation there where, like, if I get stuck here as Falco, I just shield and roll to center, and then Fox will come down, and then it's kind of you're trying to reach an agreement of like where to fight, but you don't yeah. want to you don't want to just fight wherever the other guy is down to fight. Mm -hmm. So shielding this doesn't make any sense, and mm -hmm. I know I'll do this a bunch too, but I think this is not a good opportunity to shield because he is already in the corner yeah so like he it's like i feel like i feel like you're overestimating what falco gets out of lasers because like look he lasers you there and you just run in and so he yeah. so he gets another laser here and now you're here and it's like if you had just if you had just taken a laser here like like so look so you're like right here if you so you take this laser or no you power shield mm -hmm. this i think uh, yeah, no, oh you know you know that was one. your own laser never mind you don't power shield that so, uh. so you run in and you, you, you power shield this one, and that's fine, but, like, you can't actually get anything out of this. Mm -hmm. Like, this still gives Falco control. Whereas if you take a laser here, and he does an approaching laser, he could get up smashed. Or he could get, yeah, he he could could get, get jump hit. shy. But if, you're, if uh -huh. you do this, you don't have dash out as an option. The only mm -hmm. option you can do here is wave dash forward, which will potentially lose to him... To him something. just throwing something out. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, you do have the power shield here, but you you can't react to the power shield. Yeah, I'm not reacting. So to the you're fact basically that just hoping you get the power time. shield, and if you don't get it, you die or potentially. Yeah, I, die. I don't get it. It's super bad. I do get it. Because he could have just jumped over this and and hit you if you had happened to wave dash in. So you but you yeah. realize that and you wave dash back out. But now you're in the situation where you get lasered here. So the thing is about this situation is. Let's see, so you get out of stun like here, Seven, I think, eight, or something nine, like that. Maybe here. Then eleven, I think it's this room. Yeah. So this looks really bad for you, but in reality, this isn't that bad. Like he mm -hmm. he needed to be closer. He's he, right here. He's kind of relying on the fact that like you are not seeing this situation as your potential advantage because if you full hop yeah. here he doesn't really have any coverage except to defend himself on the ground and mm -hmm. so treating this as a situation where you're like scared of him doesn't actually make that much sense uh-huh so look so he gets this sense. laser here let's see so what happens so you get this i think this is where you get like the oh no this is after this so okay 
So he does this because he's protecting himself from your dash in. This is a t this is a situation yeah. where you implied the dash in, so he has to go for this. And this doesn't necessarily give you an advantage, but you you if punished it really well. Mm -hmm. So that was like an example of a situation where you did imply that you were coming in. Yeah, and it's and like, then I and it's like well, why thing. didn't he have the laser out? And it's because his laser is vulnerable for like almost thirty frames. You know, yeah, and like, super slow. Dude. Didn't and so, get hit, so he, had to... he has to make a commitment to go for the laser, and so he thinks you're coming in right there to punish the laser. So he goes for the dare, and then you just you murder him for it. But it's yeah. all about the implication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's an implication. Your implication here is you're coming out of the corner. So I guarantee mm -hmm. you here. He is either going to dash back and laser here or down air right here. Mm -hmm. And he lasers right there. Because that yeah. means if you fully come out of the corner, the laser will hit you here and then he gets a frame advantage. Yeah. So, like, there's almost no reason for you to remain in the corner here. Mm -hmm. Like, because you could be right here. Yeah, so that. That just means I have to go to the platform. And so right it's here. like, you don't even have to land on the platform. You can just full hop right here. I can just but, jump. <laughs> but because, so here's what, so it's like, you basically engineered a bad situation for yourself by implying you're going to run in, forcing him to either do a down air here or this laser, and knowing Ginger, like, and just Falco in general, the dare is way more committal. And so, like, the dare is, like, higher reward, but it's a lot more commitment, and because this laser works in every situation, like, this laser perfectly protects him. There is not a single situation that you could generate at all where you could hit Falco right, out of your implication that. of dashing in here. Uh -huh. And so the chances of him doing this laser are massive. But the thing is, is one second ago, you were in the corner, and he didn't have a laser out. So look, you're right yeah. here, and you exchange this situation... This exact situation right here mm -hmm. for this situation. Yeah. It's exactly like... the same situation. But, now I'm but he has a laser out. <laughs> and, and so it's like, like point. <laughs> And so it's like he actually didn't create this situation for you. You created it yourself by forcing him to laser you and then letting this laser work in the corner. So mm -hmm. now you have a shield, and so now he's like, awesome. Fox can either wave dash into here and get hit he can go to ledge or he can full hop to platform so he because he knows all you can do is wave dash in he gets to yeah. take this space for free with his laser for free yeah so now he gets this laser out and so you go okay i don't want to engage in that but mm -hmm. so he basically was able to apply pressure you allowed him to apply pressure with complete safety and like which Fal like what Falco is not going to take the opportunity to get pressure in complete safety. Like none of them. Like that is what they want. So yeah. he gets the pressure in complete safety, but you do the full hop, which allows you to get out of the engagement completely. So mm -hmm. but he wasn't at any risk, so he's fine with that. He I don't know why he shoots this laser. I think this laser was he thought if in case you full hopped and then dropped and then the like platform. fell through. Yeah. But the other thing is, so, like, this wasn't amazing from him, but also he was pretty risk-free still. So mm -hmm. it, you just happen to drop off into the corner. I've seen this so many times recently, and, like, I don't get the value of it, where mm -hmm. people will go to platform, and then they run off this end of the platform. Like, what I think can it's that just, like, what happens. I, I think looking at it, it's like they're probably assuming that Falco is going to see them jump down the platform and, like... Um, do the bad Falco thing and like immediately try to pr like hit them on the platform, and so that would like juke them out. And then once they run off, they just run in the center for. Free. But it's like but so you could what, also do it that directly. Like what yeah. can Falco do to actually get you for going to the platform here? Yeah, yeah. no, there's like nothing he can actually do. Like his only right. option from this position is full hop cross up bear, where he ends up right here. And if yeah, you and shield, yeah. <laughs> you just kill him. So yeah, like, he just gets hit. I mean, it's like the only thing that I think people are expecting Falco to do like jump shine. If it like looking at the spacing, right? Right, but jump, like, it's not jump like shine it's loses. Hit anything, jump shine loses to you, literally doing anything. Doing anything, shield attack, shield drop. Okay. Yeah, right. it straight up loses to shield also, and yeah. it loses to full hop. It loses to short hop. It loses to pretty much everything. So he's not. He's very unlikely to do that. But so you put yourself in this situation, and now you have this situation where you can either full hop like right here, and he can kind of pressure you for that with a full hop back air because he no longer needs to cross it up he's close enough that he can bear a drift towards center which allows mm -hmm. him to pressure with that and so he catches you with the, that 
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you just okay. you were just like, bro, hit me. Your punches are weak. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just <laughs> so it's it's interesting here that like so you have safety, you have so you have the control right here. Mm -hmm. And you have the power in this in this spot to create any situation you want at all. Yeah. And it's like, what situation does Billy choose to create? You land here. This is not mm -hmm. a bad situation to do. Because his options here are psychotic down air at you, which loses to <laughs> shield. Yeah, he can do, and I'm at 0%. <laughs> he can, yeah, and you're at 0%. He can do... Psychotic. So he can do psychotic nair, which loses. He can do yeah. psychotic down air, which honestly isn't very likely to work. And he's kind of surprised you landed here. A lot of foxes, what they'll do is they'll land here and then they instantly full hop again. So uh -huh. he has to be wary of that. So it's like his options here do not look good for him approaching aerialing you. Yeah. And if he dashes away, he still gets hit by you doing stuff. By me doing anything. By you right? doing if literally anything. And if he lasers, that also loses <laughs> to you doing literally anything. Anything. Yeah, no, so, this is like what I was talking about at the beginning of the lesson, where it's like, in the positions where it's like frame advantage, I'll just like sometimes give it up for no fucking reason. So right? it's, like, it's like so obvious. There's almost no reason for him to do anything here. His best options in this situation are to literally roll away or full hop away. Like, if I'm yeah. Falco here, I'm like, ah! Like, and then <laughs> the only other thing he has is, like, maybe I'll get lucky. So, basically, like, if Fox tries to be tricky for some reason, like, I don't, like... So, it's, like, basically, if Falco does an aerial in place and, like, mm -hmm. drifts in, then, you know, this might dash back, dash in might work here. And if Fox full hops and he lasers... So, like, if basically his... Only options are like aerial in place, laser, roll, or full hop. Mm -hmm. And, but the thing is, is the only one dashing back here beats is aerial drift in. Yeah. And it loses to everything in. else. So not, it, it literally does not threaten any of his options that shouldn't work. He can mm -hmm. laser here. He can, he can freaking move back. He could dash back here in total safety. He can. He can retreating aerial here in total safety. He can full hop. He can roll. Like, literally all of his options are safe now. <sighs> like, it's basically like, did you even want to hit the guy? You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. you're here. You go for it. Try to hit him. And you're like, nah, I don't really want to. <laughs> and so you let him get out this laser. Just, like, you chose this. You chose yeah. this situation where you have pressure on Falco. He's, this laser, like... I know you know this, but I just need to show you again of, like, look at how much time you actually have to hit him before this laser comes out. So, like, don't look at you, okay? Just mm -hmm. look at him. So, Fox land, one, two, three, four. You're right here. Watch how much time you could have nared him. So, nair is, like, yeah. what, eight, I think? Like, yeah, for, no, like to, eight. So, it's eight. So, it's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> like all that time you can just literally hit him with anything yeah like, you can just hit him move. i could charge up smash <laughs> yeah you can charge up smash like you can just destroy him and the yeah. only moves he has there are like kind of gambles but instead you dash back directly to this range so the thing is this range isn't that bad of a range but it is when he's in center and you're in corner so you've just put yourself yeah. in the situation where you have to full hop away again or avoid to avoid the disadvantaged position. So you basically oh. got an advantage position, put yourself in a position that's neutral because you can disengage, and then I guarantee you, you don't full hop here. You yeah, don't you don't full hop here. <laughs> and so you just get beat up. And so it's like, yeah. so now you, you hit him here, so that's good. So now he's in this spot. He panic, he panic rolls. Okay, so you punish him for that. You get the edge guard pressure. Okay, and he dies. Oh, and he's killed himself, okay. So let's try going over a little bit. I'll, I'll do a quicker analysis on the next one, unless you want to mm -hmm. go a little over, over time, but it's up to you. Oh, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, yeah. So let's see, if, the, we'll see if this is the FD game. Okay, it's not. Sick. Cool. So I guarantee you that those same things are going to happen again this game, yeah. but I'm curious exactly how they happen. So 
I don't. I think you you must have accidentally rolled there. Yeah, I probably. I definitely accidentally rolled. Okay, so this situation is okay to. Oh, that's why you got stuck in shine. Okay, this full hop is is perfectly good then, because mm -hmm. you got stuck in shine. So he gets the laser out, and you do this back air, which is good because it covers him aerialing in right here or lasering yeah. again. Lasering. So this is totally fine. He is trapped in the corner here. So, <laughs> you're just, I'm just doing standing. nothing. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> so, there. I don't know what you're thinking of going for here. Mm -hmm. uh, up tilt, I guess. Yeah, probably. But I feel like you don't stand with, still The problem with this is that, like, this beats approaching laser, but it doesn't beat half approaching laser. Because, like, yeah. if you do this against Mango, what he'll do is he'll laser Mango just right, half approaching laser. He'll laser then... right here, and you can't up tilt him, and you're in a really bad spot. So, mm. so yeah, you, you go for this up tilt, but like I said, there's nothing that Falco can do here that you can react to that will be good unless he does, like, a really obvious jump in. And so, like, just doing... Like, this is just bad. Like, just don't do this. Like, it, it doesn't it doesn't mean... And he's at zero. Like, it just means literally nothing. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, you end up in the corner here. This is really bad. This is almost... I guess... I mean, I guess it's not bad because you can whiff punish this. So, mm -hmm. you get the whiff punish. It was actually really good by you to, to go into the corner like that. It just looks scary. But in reality, yeah. you actually got the whiff punish really correctly. So how do you get this? Yeah, so he makes this approach really obvious, and you're just like, hey, this is as far as you can go, so I'll just go into the corner and actually get you. So that was mm -hmm. good. Um, okay, he, he, okay, I see. So he gets to the side, and then you get the shine, and then he get he's safe. So he does this to, to stall, comes back up. Wow, really good ledge dash by him. That was crazy. I know, that was That was, like, crazy. actually insane. <laughs> that was clean. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes for this, you go for that back air. Um, I don't really like this back air by you because it doesn't have a good good expected value mm -hmm. of like, okay, so that nair was fine. So right here you do this shine. So it's like basically he just got center and if he lasers you here, which is basically Falco's expected option in this situation, Yeah. the bear doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So it just doesn't really make sense. Like... Either you're trying to get a punish on Falco or you're not. Like, this isn't going to knock down. Like, this is just pointless. Like, it's just a bad thing. Yeah, it's just like, like you just, just him. And I think so that's then you up tilt here, which is fine. But um, up tilt is the most useful in situations where Falco is approaching lasering you. Mm -hmm. Not approaching aerial. Because sometimes he'll, like, jump up and then drift in dare. And he can dodge your up tilt and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, the up tilt is high commitment, and it's, it's kind of scary to do. And so the thing is, the up tilt is, is like, the fact that the up tilt can trade with aerials and stuff like that is, it's not that bad when you have a high chance of approaching laser. But he's right here, and so the chances of him lasering in are really low. This is a position where Falco is way more likely to laser in place or dash back laser right here. Both of which <laughs> lose to you running in. And if you're scared of him doing an aerial right here, full hop beats it. Yeah, okay. But instead you do this, and so he disengages because he thinks you're going to short hop in. So he, mm -hmm. he's what, he, what he's doing is he's just disengaging so that your short hop doesn't work there. Um, this is pretty bad by him, but good, yeah, chase, good, good chase by you. Um, you really need to watch out for doing openings like this on this stage because this this just mm -hmm. literally gives him like you get nothing. This gets you get and nothing. Then, yeah, it's like okay, well, it's like it feels it, it feels like it feels good to shine pressure Falco in the corner here, but you mm -hmm. really don't want to worry about it. Like that shine literally is nothing. Like if you have an opportunity <laughs> to get that shine, you'd be better off baiting an up tilt and dash dance grabbing yeah, than right. ever <laughs> even shine because it literally does nothing. You literally like, get nothing. The shine does exactly as much if you had stood over here and lasered him twice as he came down. You'd be in exactly yeah. as good of a position. It's like, okay. <laughs> so this up tilt was better because it catches him lasering out of the corner. Yeah. So because... 
he's either going to full laser out of the corner, or in this case, barely drift forward laser out of the corner, or mm -hmm. he goes for some dumb aerial to center, but like, you're pretty sure Avery's not going to just dumb aerial to center because you'll just dash yeah. back that. And because you're in center, dashing back is good for you. It's only <laughs> when you're not in center that when dashing center, back is bad against Falco. Okay, yeah. So you get the up tilt, which, so the reason, like I said, the up tilt is good is because he tries to laser in and you had a good chance of catching him out of the laser. So great backer, really good situational awareness. Okay, really good there. So, okay, so this is super, super, oh, okay. Sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, like, right. re-download Slippy. I don't know why it does this thing. Yeah, it just freaks out. That's weird. Well, I did the full hop <laughs> we were talking about. So the full hop was damage. good. Yeah. So the reason why this full hop is good is because you don't play the mix-up that he decides that you're going to play. Mm -hmm. So you're right here in center, and you dash back, and he does this really good laser. This is actually, I need yeah. to copy this no, laser. Yeah, I agree. That's where instead really of coming weird. to center, he goes almost to center with a laser right here. So he, he comes down off. right here, and you're like, you know what? Like, if I dash back, I'm in the corner. This is almost the same situation from Dreamland, like the equivalent yeah. here on Yoshi's. And notice how good this full hop option is here, because mm -hmm. it's like, you get the disengage. Like, he doesn't get to choose to fight you here. And then if you get top platform on this stage, he has to watch out, and you get a lot of stage yeah. control. And if you full mm -hmm. hop and he whiffs, then you get a, a, I just good, get, you like, get a punish. I so mm -hmm. it's a good back air. How does this happen? What? Like, what? So you're here. You have advantage here. You miss the down tilt. You shield. Um. Okay, you do that. That this is good. This is still fine. Mm -hmm. So then what happens? So he he ledge dashes. Crazy ledge dash by him again. I know. Like, clean. <laughs> his ledge dashes are nuts. So he does this. This is catching you here. This is a really good back air by him because this catches you right here. I need to actually yeah. take that back air. So he gets this. So you ledge dash and he sets up this situation. And yeah, no, oh, I actually I thought you were going to up tilt here because this up tilt would have hit. But mm -hmm. um, ledge dashing into dash back into the corner is not usually. A I, great... I don't think that's good against Falco. Yeah, that's not really <laughs> that's the play. A... So you end up super negative here, and then he just yeah. And I just get you. I literally just get like true combo. Yeah, exactly. So you ledge dash again into the shine. That's good. Full hop over this situation where you're right on the tip of this end of the platform is really scary for Falco, because mm -hmm. you can if he does like an up tilt or something. I mean, I okay, it's a little bit different on Yoshi's because his up tilt will actually hit you here. Yeah, it's the platform, but like yeah. ignoring the fact that it's Yoshi's in this exact position, most of the time the inner edge of platforms is really good for you because you can like jump like this and then kind of drift back or jump like this and then land. And then he does and like land, an yeah. up tilt or an option here. And then you run off back air and stuff like that. <laughs> so normally that's like a really good spot against him on Yoshi's. It's a little bit different. Okay, mm -hmm. so just notice how many times in these two games has, has he been next to you and he tries to laser and you just hit him out of it. <laughs> Literally. Literally zero. Like how <laughs> many times has you have you been next to him and he tries to laser and you try to hit him out of it and you're a little late also zero like you literally have yeah, not attempted have it not a single time and so like if you're playing the game only after Falco has a laser already out, that's a losing matchup. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. like 40 60 or more or worse because he already <laughs> has the laser out. And so you give him the shield. So, what he does here is this is never going to hit because, I mean, okay, I can't say never. It'll sometimes hit. Yeah. It, but, it'll like, when, when he lasers and you shield, he gets in that he gets in that zone where it's like, fuck, can aerial out of shield right here? He can wave dash here. He can wave dash here, which you, which you, Fox will almost never do. Fox almost never shields a laser and then wave dashes into the corner because it loses to a second laser. Yeah. So here it's like your options are full hop. You can do this dumb short hop aerial you did, or you can wave dash out towards him. And so he does this dash back, and look, he just, like, easy dodges it, but he misses the whiff punish, I think. Yeah, so he misses yeah. his whiff punish, so you get away with that. So now you're here, you're, impl <laughs> you're implying that you're going to go in, and you, you kind of do and you kind of don't, but you kind of react to him going off stage, so that's fine. Okay, you come in, you try to up smash this. Um, 
This is a really common option by Falco, the laser land here. So you super yeah. need to watch out for this. He has basically mix-ups that cover the full hop here really well, especially on Yoshi's. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so like he's still invincible before the laser comes out. And then the laser yeah. comes out here, like, you don't want to get caught in this, so just watch out for that. Like, the laser land a platform with the laser coming out is a really common mix-up from ledge. Mm -hmm. Just something to be cognizant of. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, Avery. <laughs> okay, so you come back, you're both invincible. He does this dumb air dodge. Okay, I guarantee you, in the next, like, two seconds, you're somehow going to be in a disadvantage spot. I don't know how, but somehow you are. Okay, so you full hop over. Really good. Okay, you go for this at zero. Kind of kind of really sus. Kind of sus. <laughs> but, um... And the thing is, is even if you hit this in the air when he's jumping, you shine him, and he, he just grabs he ledge. Jump. He just grabs yeah. ledge. So, okay, so now I hear you here. So, once again, the reason why he's shooting this laser, mm -hmm. it's important to see that, like, from your perspective, you're like, Falco's shooting the laser so he can run in and dare me. This is yeah. what it feels like from the Fox's perspective. But you have to understand that from the Falco perspective, he is shooting this laser to prevent himself. you from running at him. That is yeah. the purpose of this dashback laser. Mm -hmm. So once again, you just literally chill. I literally stand there. <laughs> <laughs> like, you are just hard chilling. So then you shield in the corner. Once again, this limits your options really heavily. So look at that. Mm -hmm. So it's that same situation where yeah. if he shines here and you full hop, he's still safe. But if you wave dash in, the shine works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it's like, dude... <laughs> At what point here is he scared of you, like, narrowing him? Like, there. <laughs> like, no, but I'm saying, like, what? Uh, it, like you're never period. trying yeah, to nair him. Like, hit him. Like, you're yeah. not hitting him. So you get this. And so, look, why is he jumping away? Because he's scared of you. He's mm -hmm. scared of you here. And so it's like, in this situation, okay, so this shield is fine. It's maybe not the best. I would have liked right here to just dash back out of this, but I can understand mm -hmm. being being afraid of that because you think he's just going to dare you right here. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. So you're here. How do you get out of this? Wow. Okay, that was that was great. Okay. Classic Billy, like, wait, how is Billy that good option? Like, just instant <laughs> drill out of shield. So... This is that situation, again, where the reason why he's doing this up tilt here is to prevent this yeah, nair into the corner. So this that, time yeah. it works. It's fine to do that nair sometimes. Um, it didn't work out that time, but it's fine. So why why are you shielding here? I don't understand why you're shielding here. What what like, what situation does he get that gives him an advantage here? Oh, okay, never mind. This That shield makes sense. Okay, so you get the... Once again, that's the shine that doesn't get you anything. Never do that shine. Uh -huh. like, it yeah, literally no, gives you nothing. Sucks. Shine here... Or shine towards center. Yeah. So it's like... It's like, what... It's like, what does he do here to deserve getting this? He's in the corner. He get up, attacks you. You're right here. He does this laser. Yeah, I don't think you could have hit him with the nair. You, you can actually down tilt this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, this is another situation, like, you don't want to engage here, just full hop. You, if you don't like yeah. it, leave. You can get out. If always. you don't like it, leave. But instead, you shield, and you give him this situation. So, wow. Okay, so you get lucky with the roll. That was really bad, obviously. Because <laughs> yeah. you cornered yourself. Okay, so... Okay, so this is okay. You give up too much space, because, mm -hmm. like, I think it's okay to give up space here in this position. So, you're right here. So, you have him in the corner. You give up space for him to aerial out. But yeah. by giving up this much space, you don't allow yourself to actually, like, do anything if he does aerial out. Like, you kind of want to be yeah. right here. And then if he lasers out, like, because if you're right here and he lasers out of the corner, you can still punish it. But uh -huh. if, you're, if you go out to here and he lasers, then you get it's that situation like... again where he has a laser out in neutral and you don't. it doesn't make sense why you did that. So look, so you actually yeah. nair there and he goes for the approaching laser and it just hits him. Yeah, it Like just it just hits him. hits him and you get the stock. Mm -hmm. Okay, he reads you there. So this is, a, this is like a really common Cody option where he just, 
he mixes up and the Falco thinks he's going to come here and he bears here. I think this is really good. Yeah. Maybe not the bear there, but the yeah. the actual angle you came at in is great. Okay, so he's jabbing you. So wave dashing in against Falco is almost always bad. Yeah. It can sometimes work, but it's usually bad because it allows you to get hit by any sort of aerial in place. So you mm -hmm. guys change positions here. You've got him in the corner. He full hops out to avoid your approach. You go for this. Almost never do this. Yeah. <laughs> so the way I the way I always talk about it is you just wait and you get your free damage from bear and that you call it a day. Mm -hmm. Like you just wait, he lands here, you just bear him once, you go back to center, you call it a day. If he does the full hop again, you get the next bear, you go back to center, you call it a day. Like yeah. never try to do this, you're just gonna lose to freaking West Balls. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the shine from center, that was good because then you get this. Um Hmm. Okay, that fourth throw is okay. Um, I kind of like the up throw at that percent against Falco, just because he doesn't go that far. Mm -hmm. I feel like he goes less distance than Fox out of that F throw at that percent. So it's like harder, but it's kind of preference. Yeah. So you go up to the platform, that's good out of the corner. And so look, so he doesn't really have anything that'll hit you here. And you get center. Now he's jumping towards you. His only options in this situation are to late, so are to aerial right here, yeah, right or there, to laser right here. Right there. But the thing is, is like if you look from the Falco's perspective and you're jumping like this, ninety nine percent of foxes will not get hit by this aerial. Almost yeah. no one will ever get hit by this aerial. So my guess here is that he either double jumps away to the platform or he lasers. He goes for the aerial. He goes for the aerial. So Avery's just a dumb. This is dumb. Just a dumb person. And you can just grab him here. You know. So yeah, you correctly did him. this, but you gave I up. Don't. You gave up way too much space. Holy yeah. moly! The the amount of space you gave up like gives him an advantage if he does laser there. So it's yeah. like, so in this situation right here, if he aerials here, which he does, he does literally, like, this is your ideal here. Like, you were yeah. like, this is exactly what you wanted, and you don't get the punish because you're just still running. Like, you're just mm -hmm. like, Yeah, ah! I just was not reacting, like, ow. And the thing is, is if he does the approaching laser here instead, you, like, like, it's basically like he's either going to approaching laser out of that jump or he's going to approaching dare. And this covers mm. neither. And it gives him the dare safely. And if he does the laser here, you're at a disadvantage in the corner with a laser out. Yeah. So it just doesn't give you anything. Okay, so that was good. That was all good. And so it's like, dude, so look, if, if he's right here and he lasers, he's fine. Like, mm -hmm. look, he's right here. This is where he should be worried. Yeah. Like, he should have to do an aerial in place here, half the time at least, because he should be worried that you're about to nair him and then short hop off shine and he'll be dead. Yeah, he, he just so, does. Yeah. So he does this short hop, and this whole time you could have been hitting him. This whole mm -hmm. time. But instead you're just like, you're like, it's like you're always down to give Falco the first turn. And it's mm -hmm. like, if you give Falco the first turn, and he gets a laser out, you're now playing a losing situation no matter what you do. And you're yeah. forced to full hop away and reset, which you can... The reason why you're not, you're not full hopping every time there is because it gives you nothing, right? And it's like, it gives you nothing because it's supposed to be to get out of situations you don't like. But yeah. because when you're in true neutral, your, your, your tendency is to immediately put yourself into a situation that you already don't like, you put yourself in a situation where your options are super high risk or full hop and get nothing. Mm -hmm. And then when you full hop away, you get nothing. That's good. But you go back in and then you create another disadvantage situation where the only escape is full hop or another high risk option. Yeah. So he catches you coming in there. That's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. He gets away. Good back air. Uh, or okay back air. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back here. Like, okay, boomer. Uh, okay, back here. <laughs> okay, back here. <laughs> so, this full hop is okay. I'm not a huge fan of these nares. These nares were really good, like, five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and they're kind of not as good now. But yeah. they're, they're, like, okay now. So, it still, it works. Like, if you watch Mango PP sets, that full hop nair is fire. That full hop nair is insane. <laughs> it, like, destroys Falco, but maybe not nowadays. Yeah. Um... So it's oh, just wow. it's just frustrating to watch because you don't allow yourself to ever put pressure on Falco. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was just weird moving by him. I can't, can't yeah, blame anyone I for falling for that. He was he was going crazy there. 
<laughs> go, go He's going nuts, dude. Okay, so you die. That's fine. <laughs> he dies. That's fine. <laughs> Classic Avery. Okay, he comes back invincible. Okay, really good. You get away. You read the top platform. This is good. So it's like, but I feel like as Fox here, you're when you get to this situation, you're not actually realizing what Falco's doing here. Yeah. And so, but the thing is, is like if you look from Falco perspective, he has to be doing this laser to cover you. So yeah, he's doing like, this laser <laughs> to cover you run off, running off right here. So mm -hmm. he has to shoot this because if he doesn't, now he's he's here and you're here. And if he does a laser, then you just hit him or have a potential mm -hmm. to hit him. So it's basically like the overarching theme that I can draw from these games is that like Falco is forced to shoot lasers in situations to prevent you from coming in, but mm -hmm. you don't even make it a mix-up like there's these huge pieces of the neutral game like the grounded neutral that like yeah. you aren't threatening him in at all and so it's like it's like it's like when foxes play against peach and the peach runs at them and they just let the peach corner them and they play the whole <laughs> matchup from the corner against peach and peach reads their full hop and there's them and then they go wow yeah. i can't beat peach and it's like yeah, well maybe you shouldn't have like given her the whole stage for free and it's similar, mm -hmm. and it's similar with Falco. So he has to do these because he's worried about you being in the corner. He doesn't really yeah. have anything else. So, so now he does. He sees you coming down on this side. He gets this laser out. But the thing is, is this laser, if you take laser here, is irrelevant. Uh huh. So if you shield here, this is good for him, because if you shield here, the furthest you can get away that shine is here so he gets yeah. to be here with a laser whereas if you take laser here you might dash full hop over him and then he has to be worried yeah. about all this space so it's like mm -hmm. by taking a laser here you yeah you have more lag but it doesn't matter because he doesn't end up positive on you in any meaningful sense mm -hmm. but if you shield here look at he he sees it and he's like yes like <laughs> free center with free laser because look, even though you wave dash out here, bang, dead yeah. into a, into a walk shine. Walk shine. Like mm -hmm. that is just like that is a picture perfect. Like Falco gets a free <laughs> win in neutral because he gets this out instead of taking laser here. The thing is, if you full hop to platform here, it's that same situation of like okay, like come down, you know, like it's an it's yeah. it's dead neutral. It's a total stalemate if you do that. But you don't take the stalemate, and if you take the if you take the laser, it doesn't give him anything, and it just keeps grounded neutral going rather than stalemating with the platform. So mm -hmm. it's fine to either take laser or go to the platform here, but it's not okay to shield here. Yeah, because this shield, I'm telling you, this is for him. This is everything. Because once he sees the shield, he gets this free, free, free laser here, free mm -hmm. laser, and. This is that. How many times has this happened where you shield right here and then you wave dash in out into center directly into his hands? Mm -hmm. So it's like you get this, and yeah, so he gets the free free shine out of that. And it's like, he's like, did he trick you in that situation? No, no. he literally did no. nothing. This, he like, literally did nothing. And I have, I've almost seen him basically win neutral, like almost never. And in, in, in either of these two games, he has not done like an actual neutral win where he actually traps you correctly and then reads you he's just straight up going for like well yeah. surely like like he won't wave dash into center again and you do it and you just you're you're basically you're just losing situations against falco you're not even making avery win his own situations you're just yeah. giving it to him mm -hmm. so he ends up here this is this is another stalemate this is like neither character can do anything to the other character here yeah so you guys are kind of stalemating you go for this <laughs> you both are like you know what you do both hard read but that's what happens that's just a normal situation yeah that's just fine that happens so you have center here this is really good so he sh he puts this laser out because so the thing is so this laser is safe to have it come out but this mm -hmm. is a big concept i want to get across to you is that Let's say if he dash dances in the corner here, instead of lasering, you'll get this close, and then he can't laser. Mm -hmm. So it's like, this laser doesn't actually prevent you from hitting him, but it prevents you from getting into a situation where he can't prevent you from hitting him. 
Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So he has to shoot this. La- he has to put this laser out here. He has to, mm. because if he doesn't, and he up tilts or something, or even dares mm. in place here, now you're here, and now if he lasers, he's gonna get near near double shined out of the corner and die. So that laser has to come out. You do. Yeah. Uh, once again, you're freaking wave dash approach. <laughs> Why? Why? That's so bad. So it's like, so you do this and. Like, it's just weird to me, you know? Because, like, he's in corner. He shot this laser out of pure terror. Like, he's like, oh, no, here he comes. And you're like, I am defensive. Like, I defensively (laughs) shield in center with Falco right here about to die at zero. And it's like, Mm -hmm. there's no reason to shield this at all. Ever. Ever. Because Because instead of this being a dash... Because the dash, you can dash back out of it. Yeah. You get this, which is this big, huge commitment. And he doesn't punish it, but he could have. He could have very easily hit you out of this. So then... (laughs) So look, this is so funny. So you you get this wave dash approach, which is bad. He Mm -hmm. lets you do it. If Okay, so ignore ignore being Billy for a second. Imagine being him here. He mm-hmm. if he approaching if he approaching aerials here, full hop beats it. Yeah. If he approaching aerials here, dash back beats it. If he lasers, mm-hmm. you kill him. He gets him. nared. Yeah. If he, <laughs> he full gets, hops, dies. you can read his full hop by full hopping, which you might have already been doing anyway, and you kill yeah. him or hit or hurt him a lot. So as Falco, this is bad for him. But you treat yeah. it you treat it like it's good for him. Like you literally get him into a corner and he's cowering on the ground <laughs> and then you block. Like yeah. you're like, here he comes. He's gonna flip off the ground and kick me. And it's like it's like, no, like this is where you pressure. <laughs> because he yeah, can't is- <laughs> he can't laser. He can't. If he lasers here, he dies. He can't laser. But you you just dash back to center. The thing is, is look, he he's doing this big aggressive approach. The thing is, like, if he does an early aerial here, you can easily punish it. Yeah, you can just shield grab or sh- shrine out a shield or anything. So he's almost never gonna do an instant aerial. He's gonna do the late one, and if he does a late aerial or a laser, both of those lose to you hitting him. Everything yeah. loses. Everything loses here to you just <laughs> throwing out any kind of nair at all or back air or anything. Shield like mm-hmm. what Hax does here often instead of the nair is he does dash. He does dash in, dash back, shield, and then shield pivot, and then back airs. Back airs, yeah, yeah. To catch the laser here. And the other thing that he'll do is he'll mix that up because if the laser comes out, what he'll do is he'll dash dash to here to shield pivot, and then if he doesn't react correctly to Falco lasering and the laser comes out, then he back airs because if Falco goes for another laser, they get hit. Or an area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's like... It's like you got him. So it's like you can't ask for anything better. Better, yeah. Like it's like the only thing you can possibly ask for better is if he literally gives you a free whiff punish. But like a good player mm-hmm. is not going to give you a free whiff punish. Yeah. Like, like can you? Like it's just as a, as a, <laughs> I I know it's just it's just frustrating because it's like as a fox you get this wave dash there. I think if you if you literally like went like you know like outside the game into some like godlike observer mode and you just mm-hmm. put the characters on the board like you put them on the stage in a position yeah. that was good for you this is as good as you can get there's nowhere else on the stage where it's as strong for you to pressure all the mm-hmm. mix-ups are in your favor here so for you to then go for a whiff punish and let him out of the corner for free is really bad. Yeah. And the thing is, is you, you're you not even, even ready to it. whiff punish. And so it's like, yeah, you get it, but that wasn't even a whiff punish. You just freaking yeah, no. ran up and raw grabbed him after this. So it's <laughs> like... So, okay, so there, there was, that was good. You messed up your pressure, but um, mm-hmm. right here. So... I actually would have preferred a slight stutter step here because yeah. you're implying you're coming in and most mm-hmm. of the time a Falco will just full hop here. And so either yeah. like read a full hop here or stutter rather than immediately running in. So mm-hmm. the thing is, okay, actually I'm fine with this 
it's like basically this is fine as long as you mix up the other two because it yeah. the, because if he's here well okay so the thing is is I actually, so I actually disagree with it, but I understand why you went for it, and I think it's fine most of the time. So the reason why this running in double shine is good is if he tries to get this laser out. Like, if he goes here, and you're here instead, and you run in, and he tries to get this laser out to, to stop you from coming in, and then you get yeah. the double shine here, that is good. But in this situation, you have so many positive frames that the Falco here is n almost never almost yeah, never gonna he's try to laser never going to like, laser yeah. he sees you here like he knows this is this is death if he lasers if this is yeah. my falco here and honestly mango does this a lot too i'm gonna drop off and then double jump dare or double jump back here here mm -hmm. so be aware of that so yeah but he goes for the spot dodge which should lose to you shine double shining the th um almost always i think you should do a slower double shine here to beat stuff like this mm -hmm. but um because it also beats, like, shield and then roll out of shield if you do the slower one. Whereas if you do the yeah. fast one, a lot of times it won't catch it. So, mm -hmm. that's just something to mention. Okay, that was good. I like that. Mm -hmm. But you, you oh. only catch him when he overcommits aggressively. You're never yeah. catching him for trying to keep you out and being ineffective at it. So, mm -hmm. you win both those games. And I think that's probably a good point to stop. But um, Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I want your thoughts on the lesson. And okay. not not on, like, the quality of the lesson or anything like that, but on, like, <laughs> on the your content. thoughts on what happened here. Okay, yeah, no, I think um, the stuff about how I taking in um, how Falco feels about the positions rather than my perception of them I think is really important because it does, like, literally every time, at, at least while watching, it definitely made it way easier to see the positions where it's, like, we're both on the stage, something's happening, and then it's obvious that Falco has is like the one that's supposed to be defending, then I should make an aggressive option or something, right? And then it's like, um, I think uh, the stuff about how, how taking laser is different from like shielding the laser and how I have actual options out of, uh, what's it called, out of taking the laser mm. compared to shooting the laser where it's just like, Oh, defensive option, right? And I think it's how, even in all those positions, even if I power shielded, it like didn't change the dynamic of the situation that often. Mm -hmm. um, so it it'd still be like the same thing happening either way. Um, and then I think how I don't, um, how I don't pressure, <laughs> I like don't pressure Falco in a disadvantaged state literally ever, and that's like. Fox is like thing in the matchup. Yeah, that's like literally not a every... single time <laughs> in two like, games yeah. did you do one time try to pressure at all or like hit him out. Like I don't think you actually hit him out of laser startup. Yeah, no, I time. didn't intercept him at all. There's no point where he's like, I'm gonna laser. And I was like, haha, me there. It's like no. <laughs> every time I was like, ah, he's gonna laser. I must dash <laughs> back. <laughs> I and must. It, yeah, and back. yeah, ex exactly. And a lot of the situations where you could have potentially, that's what I was saying. Where like there's situations where you can potentially get into a situation where if he lasers again, you can hit him. And a lot of times in those situations, you'll be shielding the laser. Which yeah. puts you in a situation where you were stuck shield wave dashing in and getting hit a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, it's... I think those are actually some really good takeaways from this. I think, I think no, yeah, that would be cause that... pretty big. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Those are very large things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, Billy, you're not trying to hit your opponent ever. And you're like, wait, oh, what? No. Like... I'm not using my moves. Like, I'm just running around shielding and wave dashing until I die. And then won every game because I'm good at other things. Like Yeah, no, I, it's it's so stupid. This happens so often, actually. Every lesson I've ever had with Sammy, it comes to a similar conclusion every time. And it, it's infuriating. <laughs> but well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. a really good conclusion to come to. Because if I'm already good at the other stuff, and it's just like at least better at the other stuff and something that's so like core is this is like super whereas like if you had actually done your pressure in the right situations here these would be like blow these games would be bad like these would be awful for him these games would be because bad. you kept getting good positions and then letting him out of it so i think it's it, i think it's really important specifically against falco i think i think fox can get away with not understanding 
his opponent in a lot of matchups, and that's just sort yeah. of a property of Fox. Like a lot of other characters, that's just how he goes. <laughs> a lot of characters can't get away with not understanding what their opponent wants, but Fox kind of can. But with Falco, and I think to a, to a, to a different degree, Peach, because because they have to protect themselves with their moves, it's really important to know like when they are trying to protect themselves and when they're trying to pressure when you. they're trying to because attack if you can't you, yeah. tell a difference it always looks like falco it looks the same to... it's just like they're attacking it's like oh, yeah like from your perspective it looks like falco is always just trying to laser trap you into an aerial whereas from falco's perspective a lot of the time he's sort of desperately trying to defend himself from your possible options so i would recommend yeah. rewatching this lesson at some point because yeah, i no, think I definitely there were definitely a lot of situations to go over but like i think if you actually implement this stuff you'll just because i think your punish game and general awareness of advantage like when falco is above you in the air you have excellent awareness and i think yeah. like your edge guards and stuff like that those are all on point it's really just this taking control it's of one. neutral <laughs> and realizing that like as fox you have both the ability to disengage when you want with full hop and uh -huh. using your dash dances and your quick aerials to uh control the situation and dictate what's going on and force falco to protect himself and then be like are you still gonna try to do it and he's like yeah i think i can get this laser yeah. out and then you murder him for it so those yeah. are the biggest takeaways <laughs> and um i hope that ends up being useful for you yeah no it definitely will be also how do i pay you <laughs> um yeah i'll dm you about that i think it was like an hour and a half so yeah all right yeah sounds good man i'll, I'll dm you right now Cool. But okay. I'll, I'll see you in voice chat probably tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Peace. Okay, cool. I'll talk to you later.